What are you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is carrot day on our little homestead here in Maine and we thought we'd take you guys along with us so you could see how the harvest looks and what we plan to do with all of the carrots once we get them inside. So we're going to be cutting uh, the tops off of the carrots, setting them aside to give to the laying hens and um, then the carrots will go inside with us and we'll take you inside when we go. What are you having? Yeah. No. <laughs> Is it yummy? Yeah. No. Avery, come here. She's laying down by the barn. So all these carrots right here were out of a four by four foot area. I know half of them were Bolero carrots from Johnny's. I don't know what these yellow ones were. I can't remember, but I know I've got it written down. Oh, it's too much for the scale to take. That's 13 and a half. I think this bowl holds 25 pounds ish. So I know, like from Johnny's, you can buy a. It looks fairly similar to it. They call it, I think, a garden or a vegetable hod. But this here is just a. Uh, they call it a clam roller here. When you dig clams, this is what they go in. Uh, I've had this since I was in high school. That's what I did for a high school job was dig clams. I'm never very good at it, but it's what I did. And it paid my way through high school. So we've got a whole nother... Well, it's probably more like a... No, that's four by eight where Olivia's 
uh, digging up those carrots. So I'll be curious to see just exactly how many we've gotten there. That bed right there is, is all just bolero carrots. Uh, we started growing bolero carrots um, three or four years ago when we lived in our old house and we had a basement then so you could we used to bury them in peat moss in the basement and you could store them just like that you didn't have to clean them off and they, they lasted all winter and that's what these bolero carrots are they're a, they're a hybrid storage carrot and they did they lasted all winter long but so that and they they grow real well so that's what we've always stuck with uh, but in this house we don't have much storage so most of these are going to be blanched and frozen and what isn't blanched and frozen will end up canned but we still like to grow the bolero carrots they're one of our favorite carrots that's what I like about using this clam roller is we'll clean these carrots up a little bit more when we get in the house, but it's very easy to knock most of the dirt off of them right here in the roller. Well, if, uh, if they grew both the same as the other ones, then we should have 50 pounds out of that bed. I can get that bed. Hey, can Dada borrow those? Thank you. Hold it right over here and then I'll cut it. Can you go put it in the basket? Go put it right there in the basket. Good job getting the dirt off. Daddy. Hey, go give that one to Avery. Oh. No. no. Only if Mama gets a small one. So we'll start off by uh, processing our carrots in rounds uh, for the canner. We like we like canned carrots in rounds because we use them for soups and, and stuff like that in the winter time. And when we get seven quarts filled, because that's what the canner will take, we'll switch over to slicing them in strips and we'll blanch and freeze those. And we usually like roast them or we'll put them in the air fryer or something.
So we got our seven quarts of carrot rounds all cut up and we're ready to pack these raw into our quart jars that are going in the canner. We've got the can of water warm or hot and that's ready to go. So we'll take and we'll dump the hot water out of our quart jars and pack them full of our carrots. If you want to, I can start packing, yep. right? Take from here or the bowl? The bowl, probably. Pack them a little less than an inch of headspace because that's what we need total. There, that space looks good. So now we'll take a clean dish towel and some white vinegar and just go around the rim. Make sure that we've got any dirt, any water, anything that could potentially make a bad seal off. And we'll dip our lids out of our hot water. So now the rings go on, they just go on fingertip tight. jars we'll put them in our warmed up canner and we are basically at sea level so we'll be canning these at 11 pounds for uh, 40 minutes I think there we go There, we've got a pretty high heat setting, so we'll just let it set right there until we get a long steady stream of steam coming out of the top. And while that's going on, we will start cutting up our carrots into strips so we can blanch and freeze those. As you can see, we've got a, a steady stream of steam coming out of the vent tube. So we will close it up 
and we'll bring that up to 11 pounds pressure and we'll monitor it for 30 minutes. So now we're going to put our freezer carrots in boiling water to blanch for two minutes and then we will take them out, put them in an ice bath and um, get them ready to go into the freezer bags. So these carrots, Olivia blanched for two minutes and they've been sitting in this real cold water for about two minutes and we're just going to shake them off and spread them out on this cookie sheet and we'll pop these in the freezer for about an hour or so, let them flash freeze and then we'll put them in the freezer bags, the vacuum seal bags. If you don't flash freeze them, my experience, the vacuum packer will suck up a bunch of water and in a, like a week or so, you'll go and look in your fridge, in your freezer and your carrots, the seal will be gone. They'll be all freezer burned. So it's pretty easy just to pop them in the freezer, just like that. And in an hour or so, they won't even stick. They'll all be frozen solid. Just pop them into your vacuum packer and vacuum pack them. So it's been about an hour and these aren't totally frozen stiff, but they're at least frozen enough so that they are dry. And when I put them in this uh, freezer bag, the vacuum packer isn't gonna suck up a bunch of water and, and make a bad seal. So I'm just going to write on this bag, um, blanched and 1.5 pounds because that's what we've got. And there's some of these that we won't blanch because uh, we eat a lot of carrots around here and they won't even make it in the freezer long enough to have it even matter that they're blanched or not. So that's why we label them unblanched and blanched. And there you have it. Nice package, package size for one meal for us. Yeah. All right, so this is this has been sitting for about an hour. Um, the vent tube is down. The pressure is at zero, and um, it's it's almost cool to the touch. I'm going to take this off. This is the weight and twist the cover off it smells like carrots
All right, guys, so I've spent all morning in the kitchen and we've finally wrapped up our carrots for the year. I no longer have a massive bucket of carrots sitting in our kitchen um, that is already too small for this time of year. So um, we finished with 14 pressure canned quarts of carrots. These will be really great for this winter when we're looking to have a side that's gonna warm us up. It doesn't take a lot of time. Um, so we'll just add these to a pot, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, um, and that will be a hearty side for us to have for winter meals. Um, super simple process. Um, I would have done more, but it's time consuming. Pressure canning is so time consuming and, um, you know, comparatively we like them the same and they have very different uses. So we're very happy with having blanched carrots and um, roasting them, putting them in the air fryer or frying them up in cast iron too. So they're both great options. Um, I'm sure that there are several other ways to preserve carrots as well. These just are our two favorite ways. Last year and the years prior to that, we had access to a basement because our home had um, a basement and so where we're between homes right now and we're in the mobile home on our property waiting to build uh, we don't have a basement here so that's not an option for us but when we did we stored our carrots in large totes in the basement um, filled with peat moss as long as those carrots stay beneath that peat moss they store so well and even months into the year you're pulling out crunchy carrots and it's fabulous so if you guys have a basement that is absolutely an option for you and um, we'd love to hear about how it works for you too so um, along with the 14 quarts we ended up with 20 pounds of blanched carrots as well so i bagged them all in vacuum sealed storage bags um, most are one and a half pounds and that's because it's Luke, myself, and Haven. So Haven eats really well and we have to account for her. Uh, this is the first year that we've really had to do that and so it was so fun to think, okay, there are three of us now, not just two. Uh, how do we want to store these for the winter? There are a couple here that have one pound, a couple that have two pounds, just in case I, I wanted to pull out more or less. Uh, to use for that day. There are three or four bags that are unblanched, um, just chopped up and put in a vacuum sealed bag. This is one of them, unblanched, one and a half pounds. So I labeled them so that I know when I go to pull them out that these are the ones that we should use first because these will store really well. They'll store for a couple months in the freezer, vacuum sealed um, without being blanched beforehand but um, they won't store for the year or two that blanched carrots will. So we'll use those first. We know that we eat carrots very often, so it won't be an issue to use those up before that two month period to make sure that those don't go to waste. And that was just simply for the sake of saving some time. We knew we'd be consuming them. Why, why blanch them when we can just store them? The rest are blanched. We simply just put them in the boiling pot of water for two minutes, remove them immediately, put them in ice, ice cold water and um, let them sit just long enough to cool off, kind of move them around a little bit to make sure that, that all that water is getting to them. And then we flash freeze them on a cookie sheet um, for an hour or so. If you can leave them for a little bit longer than that, that's great. Um, for the sake of getting all of these done, I left each one for about an hour. Um, if you have access to a deep freezer, that is a really convenient way to flash freeze because you can actually lay several cookie sheets across the top and close the cover. And um, it's, a, it's a much faster way to flash freeze. So that's uh, something to keep in mind if you do plan on doing this. So yeah, this is our harvest uh, for the year. And next year we hope to double it maybe triple it if we get really lucky. Um, we've mentioned before that our garden space now, we are going to continue to extend so that it will, it will, it will be doubled. Um, and 
eventually we'd like to have a greenhouse um, on the left hand side of it as you're looking at it so more to go in the freezer more to go on the shelves in the pantry it has been an exciting year and we're just getting started um it's busy and we love it but hey i mean what other way to spend a summer in maine so thanks for hanging out with us it was really good um chatting with you guys let us know in the comments how you like to preserve your vegetables for the winter and um, maybe it's something that we can try out talk to you soon bye Thank you.